According to Ian Rapoport, the Dallas Cowboys have a meeting scheduled to visit with free agent safety Eric Berry Tuesday at the Star. Source, former. His first visit, they have a need there. Eric Berry has spent his entire career with the Kansas City Chiefs after they drafted him fifth overall in the 2010 NFL Draft. After signing Earl Thomas last week, the Chiefs decided to part ways with their former All-Pro safety. Barry, 30 is an intriguing free agent for the Dallas Cowboys. When healthy, he is arguably one of the best safeties in the league. Unfortunately, injuries have kept him off the field these last few seasons causing him to only start in only three games since 2016. This is a move many of us expected to happen after the Cowboys decided not to get into a bidding war for Earl Thomas, a player linked to Dallas for over a year now. In Barry, Cowboys Nation would be getting a similar player with the same kind of red flags. Both Thomas and Barry have to be approached with caution due to their injury history the past few years. Depending on his asking price, Eric Barry absolutely makes sense for the Dallas Cowboys. He would be an upgrade over Jeff Heath and would pair well with the Cowboys up and coming three year safety Xavier Woods. This is still just a visit, so we should probably get our hopes up that a signing is imminent. But, I think we can all agree Eric Berry is exactly the right kind of guy. Jason Garrett is always preaching about. He's a cancer survivor, five-time pro bowler, and all-pro player. What's not to like? 2019 free agency Dallas Cowboys Eric Berry free agent safety The Dallas Cowboys added more defensive line help today after signing former Detroit Lions defensive end Kerry Hyder. Going back to Texas. Hyder, 27 originally signed as an undrafted free agent out of Texas Tech with the New York Jets in 2014. He spent a year in New York before signing a future, reserve contract with the Detroit Lions in January 2015. He had a breakout 8 sack year with the Lions in 2016, but tore his Achilles in 2017 causing him to miss the entire season. In 2018 he had just one quarterback sock after Detroit switched to a 3-4 defensive scheme. Overall, this is a good depth signing by the Dallas Cowboys. Kerry Hyder has starting potential but shouldn't keep the Cowboys from upgrading the position further through either another free agent signing for the draft. As the Dallas Cowboys still have a glaring need at the safety position, a new name has appeared on the available free agents list, and it's a well-known name. The Kansas City Chiefs just released one of the best at the position, Eric Berry. The move by Kansas City is likely salary cap related. The Chiefs had just signed Tyron Matthew for a three-year $42 million deal. The five-time Pro Bowler will have to find a new home in the NFL. Chiefs released five-time Pro Bowl safety Eric Berry. Had Berry been on Casey's roster Friday, $7.25 million of his salary would have become fully guaranteed. The question in many Dallas Cowboys fans' minds right now is pretty obvious, will the Cowboys be interested? Eric Berry is one hell of a football player but injuries have plagued his career lately. Since he suffered a torn Achilles in 2017, Berry hasn't been the same player as before. In the past two seasons, the 30-year-old safety has played in only three games. Eric Berry's tenure with the Chiefs, asterisk 88 games played asterisk 445 tackles asterisk 50 PBU asterisk 14 and asterisk 5 TD score asterisk 5x Pro Bowler asterisk 3x First Team All Pro More importantly, a cancer survivor who returned to the field and inspired countless people along the way. Berry would be a nice fit for the Dallas Cowboys defense to pair with Xavier Woods. However, the front office has already passed on many available safeties. For Barry to come to Dallas, the price would have to be right. It's tough to imagine where Barry's value would land in such a busy safety market. Both Landon Collins and Earl Thomas have signed big-time contracts. 
age and injury history could be factors that drop Barry's price to a number that the front office would be interested in. I honestly would be surprised if he got top money today. A contract with little guaranteed money could get the Cowboys involved. Chiefs cut S. Eric Barry. I'm told. But recent serious health issues and inactivity, Barry is great story as a cancer survivor, mean lots of research is merited. Mike Fisher took to Twitter to say the Cowboys will investigate the newest safety in the market. The Cowboys have already seen Earl Thomas and others sign contracts elsewhere and while their free agency philosophy is clear at the moment, I believe it'd be a mistake to leave the need for a safety unattended until late April. There are quite a few options out there the team should explore. Whether it's Eric Berry or another player such as Trey Boston, Andrew Sandijo or HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix, the Cowboys should sign a starting safety and leave the draft picks for other positions. Cowboys are holding on to an important depth option from last year's team. They have reportedly resigned offensive tackle Cameron Fleming, who served as their swing tackle in 2018. The Cowboys kept a valuable part of their offensive line in Cameron Fleming, according to a source. Fleming played well in three starts last year, filling in at left tackle for an injured Tyron Smith. Given Smith's recent injury history, the Cowboys, https colon slash slash t dot co slash dot 7 sl 9 ypk Cowboys OT Cam Femming is staying in Dallas, as a Todd Archer said. Source adds it's a two-year deal worth up to $8.5 million. Fleming was a free agent signing last year, brought in to be the swing tackle thanks to his experience with the New England Patriots. Started 20 games, not counting some in the playoffs, for the Pats during four seasons there. Cam had to start three games for Dallas in 2018 due to injury issues with Tyron Smith. Then language in Garofalo's tweet suggests that there are playing time incentives in the deal. Fleming got $2.5 million from the Cowboys last season, so it appears he's getting a potential raise in this new contract. Given Tyron Smith's recent string of health concerns this is a smart signing. Fleming is still in his physical prime and had more experience than most guy who'd be willing to accept a backup role.